Yo, we are back. Another video. I didn't think I'd do another video. I didn't think the first one would do quite as well as it did. So thank you very much for everyone who watched. I appreciate that. If you could give this one a wee like, and if you haven't seen the uh, the first one, it's a full day of eating, 4,700-ish calories. Just go and watch that, see what I eat in a day. But for now, we're training back and chest. What a great day. It is Thursday. Thursday, two more days. <laughs> so, um, I think back, I want to do a back one first because back is something that a lot of people struggle with, especially in terms of growth. And I did as well, really up until this year. And I think the main reason for that is the mind-muscle connection is sometimes off and you can't feel where you're meant to feel, if you know what I mean. So I'll, I'll throw in some tips on, on how I kind of overcame that because it was always a, a lagging body part for me as well. So I'll throw in some tips on how, how to get around that. So I've took my pre, I'm warming up, I'm waiting for the cameraman. <laughs> See you in the session, guys. So, starting off, I always do a lap pull down variation. So, today we're going close grip. And I do this just, it opens up the lats, gets the blood flow nice and like, so you're not starting with like a heavy movement because you'll probably injure yourself. So, you better start with some sort of pull, either like a pull through or a, or a pull down. I'm going to start today close grip. I've just kind of recently changed the close grip. I feel like I can engage my lats a little bit more. So let's get into it. First set, eight to 10 reps. Let's go. You'll see that right at the top. You have to let it stretch. Don't stop here. And then pull your own stretch to the lat. You need to get that stretch at the top, force that growth. And then on the way down, in that contraction, squeeze, lead with your elbows. Forget about your, forget about your grip. Same as everything when you're training back. Forget about your grip. Because then you're going to pump your forearms up. Once your forearms are pumped, back day's done. You're just going to feel it in your front delt, feel it in your bicep, feel it in your forearm. Forget about your grip. Pull with your elbows and just let your grip, just let it hang on. Really grip it and pull with your arms. Get the elbow nice and tucked in, dig them deep. Yeah? So, I did a back up set on the lap below. Just uh, 12 to 15 reps, I'll, I'll lay your weight. And then move on to this. So this here, I think this is one of the main movements to help bring my back up, because it's chest supported, so there's no momentum. You have to use your back, you know, you can't like, dig yourself out of a hole with momentum. So that there, if you're struggling with your back, it's growing, I would use that. So I just did a heavy, heavy 10 there. And now I'm going to do a rest ball set. So a rest ball set. It's sticking with the same weight as your top set and you do three sets till failure with 15 seconds off in between. So you basically go failure set, 15 seconds off, failure set, 15 seconds off, failure set. And the idea is your reps, just start here and then end down here. If you can get all three sets roughly the same reps, you won't wait too long, yeah? And as well as that, if you can get a failure set with more reps in it than your top set, again, you won't wait too long. So rest ball set, come up. So, uh, bar 
barbell bent over rope. A lot less movement. This is like a stable now. But again, whenever I was trying to grow my back, this here I always felt more in like my front delt rather than my back. So I stepped away from it for a long time and just did chest support and things. So if you are struggling and you do feel this more rear delt or bicep or forearm, just step away from it and come back to it, just in just slowly. So I'm gonna do this set here, it's gonna be a heavy, eight to 10 reps, and then I'm gonna do a drop set. Okay, so the drop set, you repeat the top, eight to 10, and then you're gonna strip 30% of the weight off, and then go to failure at that lighter weight, yeah? So top set coming up. Single row, probably my favourite bag movement. Generally throw it in last uh, in terms of like numbers. So this is my fourth exercise, single arm row. Just because it's such a good contraction with the lat. And this one here, I probably do this lower than what you've seen. So I like to be right down nice and low. It just means you can get a bigger stretch on the lat on the way down instead of being really high and you have to really sort of turn to get a stretch. If you sit yourself a little bit lower, you'll uh, feel that stretch a little bit more. And as well as that, if you see, whenever I'm working, you want to bring your feet in line with each other. This stuff, and you, can, you can use momentum. So if you bring your feet back, and just a little dip in them, so they're not dead straight, do a little dip in them, and then whenever you're rowing, if you follow the line of your leg, so you pull up in towards the hip, rather than here. Yeah, if you pull up in towards the hip, Again, you're going to get more lat connection. You'll see what I mean when I'm doing it. Yeah? But just get the feet in line with each other. Get that stretch at the bottom. Big contraction at the top. Let's go. So that was my top set. For single arm rows, I'm a heavy set. Um, so I'm now going to move into a cluster. So a cluster set is you do four sets of four reps, and you get 10 seconds off in between, but you do it at the same weight as what your heavy set was. So the idea behind it is you get more volume, because you're doing 16 reps essentially, but you're doing it at the same weight as what you just did eight for. So that's the idea behind it. The one thing you do want to think about is if you do get all 16 reps, you probably went too light. You kind of don't want to be able to hit the 16 reps and don't just think, ah, it's sore. You you want and then stop. If you stop, you have to physically know you can't do the fourth, yeah? So don't just push it out. Do the four sets, and then for next time, you'll know if it was too heavy or too light away, yeah? So, going straight into that one. Ten seconds off. I just take 45 seconds rest in between, so it's quite short, short, sharp work. Just really to get like a blood flow, get some sort of stimulus going. So in here, I'm gonna do hex press, so you keep the dumbbells tight, and then press up. So, for this one, for chest movements in general, 
You want to keep your triceps out of it because they'll kind of determine when you tire if you bring them in. So essentially when you lock out, everything's on your tricep. So you want to just break before lock out so your chest is totally stimulated all the time. Chest isn't getting any rest. So you press up just before uh, lock out, pause there and then back down. Get the contraction, squeeze at the top, stretch at the bottom, same as the back. So last thing for chest, we're gonna do a little superset to finish it off. I'm gonna do an incline fly, superset that with an incline press. So as soon as I finish the fly, I'm gonna draw or increase the weight and go into a press. Probably work between eight and 12 reps for the two exercises. So for the incline um, press, obviously you'll be tired, the chest will be tired by the time you get to that point. So you really wanna focus on form and make sure you're just engaging the chest and not bringing like delts into it, not bringing triceps into it. Try and just focus as much as you can on that squeeze at the top and then stretch at the bottom. And if you can't get eight reps, don't worry, as long as it's, as long as it's close to failure, it's fine. So, gonna hit that, and then let's move on. And that is it, done, Whew. that was a good session. I've lost my cameraman, so I'm back to vlog style. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed that guys, thank you very much for watching. Again, if you give the video a little like, and yeah, I'll hopefully get some more um, training videos up there, and yeah, thank you very much for watching. Hope you sort of learned something new, if you, um, if you struggle with your back uh, growth or anything like that, I hope some of those little tips help you. And if you need something else, just give me a message. I'll put all my uh, accounts and things in the in the description for a little follow or anything. If you need any uh, any advice or if you want to sign up for coaching, just let me know. I do online plans, um, nutri full, uh, so I do macro only plans. I do full nutrition plans. I do training only plans, and then I do a full nutrition and training plans. So if you want any of that, give me a little message and we'll get started. Let's get 22 off the flyer. <laughs> Have a good one, guys. Thank you very much.